Hey everybody, it's Shelbs here. I got another DIY project for you guys. I have a border collie with my girlfriend. We moved to this place out in the middle of nowhere, but it happens to be on a really busy road and we have a border collie. Let's just start right there. So obviously you have a dog. You have a dog that you're trying to contain. If you lost the dog, you don't need to fence it anymore. <laughs> That's a joke. That's totally a joke. Funny. I figured we'd be able to do it. I wasn't really sure how. I knew we'd be able to find a way without actually installing a fence, and we didn't. We went to Home Depot. It only took us about 30 minutes to find what we needed, and this is what the end product actually looks like. So there you go. Uh, it literally only takes two different parts. It takes the white stakes that you see, and it takes the green mesh netting. Uh, you can find both of them in the same area, um, right next to each other, actually. So um, the stakes each are only, I think they're only three or four dollars a piece. They're, are I think three foot stakes. They're like four foot total, but this part of the stake goes in the ground, so you lose some of it. And they don't require any tools to put in. There's actually just a little stake, or a, sorry, a place for your foot to go. All you do is set the stake up where you want it and just push down with your foot. It'll go right into the ground. Um, I do recommend that you you know use a string line if you're doing this, just so you can get them nice and you know perfect, just so it's not looking sloppy. It's a very cheap project, but if you do it right, it can end up looking really good. I'm really hoping that there's more here that is going to come into play. It's a very cheap project, and if you do it right, you can make it look really good. So I'm a professional fence builder, and I can make it look really good. I can't make this garbage look good at all. There's not any way whatsoever to make this look good. And this is a temporary fence. You're trying to limp it out to the point where you could actually go ahead and wait until your fence contractor can get there to install your fence or you can come up with the finances to install your own fence something that is a much better product and a more permanent structure to contain said dog there's no way to make this look good it's it's hodgepodged 100 percent. right now i'm only seeing four posts and i see uh, what i see and i'm hoping i'm really hoping he's going to show us more it looks like he stopped it short of the house and then put a trash can there on the other side of the bush as a filler Maybe because he ran out of the product. I'm gonna call that more of a snow fence. It looks like a green garden snow fence. So that's what I know it as, like a construction safety fence, only green. Maybe you do want a string line. I will agree with him there. He's A for effort right there. He's trying to get him nice and straight. He's trying, he's trying to get a good looking product without investing a ton of money. But there again, I do have a little bit of a concern because it really doesn't look like that fence is very tall and he is trying to contain a border collie. Uh, border collies are known for getting out of four foot chain link fences. So kind of questioning if that fence is even, even tall enough to contain that dog. If you throw a tennis ball to the dog, the dog runs into the fence and just flat knocks it over. That fence is now obsolete and you have unfortunately wasted your money. And the mesh netting comes in a, I think a 25 foot roll for $15, so not bad at all. We needed two rolls total to do our house, but we only used about three quarters of each roll. They bought two rolls for the house, and they only used three quarters of each roll. Why are the trash cans there to finish that off? Did we cheap out and not buy enough posts? Did we not accommodate or calculate that we needed more posts? I, I don't I don't, I don't, don't see the reason for the trash cans. Um, so besides it being very easy to put together and very quick, it's very cheap. Also, if you have a mowing crew that comes to, to mow your house, you can just let them know that you can just pick the stake right up out of the ground. It comes right out. They can move it out of the way, create an opening to actually go through with their mower. And then when they're done, they can just come put it right back in the ground. And they might not do it perfect because it's not their property, but that's fine because it only takes you five seconds. Where do I start? I want to cry. It sounds like we're about $50 into this massive fence project, right? But we're already talking about how we're gonna have a mowing crew come maintenance the yard. Big issue there, if the posts are that easy to pull out of the ground and replace, what's the chances that the mowing crew is not going to forget to put that back if your dog is outside? Dog gone. Oh, yikes. Now you're responsible for the dog missing. So far, I mean, I live in Florida. We have lots of storms, not really this time of year, but we still have had a few. Hasn't came down. I don't really see any reason why it would. It's mesh, so air is going to go right through it. The stakes don't feel very heavy duty. I could. I could snap one with my leg or my knee if I wanted to, but. He answered it right there. So if the dog ran into the fence, what would happen? It, he just told me if he ran his knee into that post, the stake, it's gonna break in half. If the dog ran into that, into that post, it's gonna break. If something happens, this is gonna be one of those systems that he's created that is gonna continuously cost money 
as things fail, so if he, he breaks a post because it's been pulled out of the ground so many times, you gotta get a new one. Another thing is, it's just kinda hooked to the stakes. There's no actual fastener. So what if a small limb fell off one of the trees up above and just kinda, let, you know, collapsed it? It's not gonna take much to collapse this thing. What I'm kinda almost thinking in this, in this scenario, if you're thinking cheap and you're on a budget, you could go get some, maybe some rebar, cut it in half, take like some rebar wire and wire that mesh to it. You could weave it in and out of that mesh and then drive the rebar into the ground to hold that in place. Definitely get enough mesh to go from point A to point B. Don't improvise with something else to fill those gaps because if not, you're, you're wasting your money. Go to a fencing company, go see what they have and they're used. Do you guys have anything that's used? Do you guys have any used wire? Do you guys have any used four foot chain link that I could buy from you? I'm not interested in having somebody um, come out and put it up for me. I'm just wanting to see what you guys have in stock that I could buy. We have stuff like that all the time. It doesn't hurt to ask the question. What hurts is not asking the question. None of them have fallen over. It hasn't really loosened up at all. It's still pretty tight. I'll get you a, a side angle so you can actually see the, the line of it. And they can be tightened a little bit on the top, but you know, not enough for us to worry about. We don't, we're not worried about that. We, we just want it for the function. He just said it hasn't loosened up at all. And I can look down the top of that fence and I can see that there's a dip going in between every section. So yes, it did loosen up. How this thing has contained the dog, I have no idea. Because this fence couldn't even contain a flock of rogue bunnies. Like, no way at all. Those bunnies go rogue, man, they're gonna plow in that fence and just knock it right on over. I'm gonna give them one more minute and we're gonna see what happens. On each one of these stakes, you'll see there's these little U's right here, right here. All you do is take your mesh. I started on the top. I got my stakes sat where I want them and I started at the top. I just hooked the, the mesh through the, the little hook on here and then just worked my way down and just keeping it real tight, pulling it tight the whole time you're doing it. And then I would just go to the next stake. I would un unroll the roll, bring it over to the next one, do the same thing. I would hook the top one and then just work my way down, keeping them all tight. Figured out the problem. One, I think we're done watching the video, but there's a Ford Ranger that's sitting in the driveway. We all know what that means. Don't get the wrong impression here. This, this, this fellow, this gentleman, absolutely not picking on him. Um, whatsoever. I mean, I, I give him an A for trying, 100%, because he wouldn't try it himself. Now, if some, if somebody, if he actually had a contractor that came and installed this for him, oh my gosh, could it get any worse? But that didn't happen. He actually installed it himself, so hey, A for effort, because you know what? You had a problem and you solved your problem with something that you created and something you went out and found. So 100%, you problem solved, great job. This is Dan with SWI, I hope you have a good dang day and keep your dog from being at large.